Hello guys, Bluebeach here. So, everybody's talking about ray tracing today. Uh, no wonder. So, I was curious if there was any old tech, and it, I actually found this from NVIDIA, but for DirectX 11. So, it's, it's called A New Dawn, so if you want to test your hardware how DirectX 11 ray tracing works on your system, uh, you can test it out and um, I'm gonna run on my GTX 1080 uh, that are water-cooled at um, and overclocked to 2.1 gigahertz at 1440p and uh, yeah it's almost like I can't run it and that's only DirectX 11 And I lose a bit of performance now from uh, recording, of course. I guess it's only a t uh, also a test for hair works. Oh man, I destroyed the demo, I think. I think I did have to restart. It, it has this loop that it plays around. And... Oh, there we go. Just because I moved the mouse. So this is basically light sources that acts like uh, ray tracing and bounces a bit. Um, so this is basically the early stage of the new technology. See I'm below 60 frames per second now. Could probably blame some of it on the um, hair works. It looks fucking good. I'm actually surprised this is 1440p too. Uh, looking at it on a 4K screen looks fantastic, to be honest. Nvidia is really no know, knows what they're doing. <coughs> Dip below 50 frames. But yeah, you can see the the light reflections of the colors. Uh, different light light sources of colors. You can see the reflection in her eye, basically.
So the demo basically runs around in the loop, I guess. I'm not sure for how long. Uh, I don't think it's done yet. But if you want, you can just hit um, pause and some of the movement stops. If I, or I hit space again, uh, it starts again. And you can, if you left click, you can uh, move around yourself. Zoom in. I haven't figured out how to vertically, oh, okay. But it goes to the boobs. God damn it! But yeah, you can. If you look closely, you can see uh, the different color lamps or light sources are glowing in her eyes, and that reflection also goes to her skin, etc. So that's pretty neat, I gotta say. And this is uh, from. 2011 I think so uh, yeah we're getting into a nice future of gaming for sure you see the light sources through the wings I'm not I'm not sure if it's called the wings to be honest same with other ones. You can see the light from the flowers on the tree. I actually don't know how to restart the movement demo. Oh, wait. As I said, the complete movement demo wasn't done. I'm not sure how long it is. But I guess she sits there and do stuff. So, n now you've seen the frames. Oh, actually, more frames from my own clothes. The scene is bigger, and I lose a lot of frames. So, 40 frames per second with a GTX 1080. I would assume the settings are maxed out in this uh, demo because you have no settings for it. Moving leaves and everything, and you see the flowers blowing everywhere and stuff. So, just to give you a hint on how demanding that demo is, also, this was 2011. Just imagine how games are today and um, how demanding ray tracing is by itself and R DirectX 12 games or other engines take so much power so this is Yeah, she looks fantastic. A lot of crisp detail at 4K. A bit choppy though, low frames. You can also see the shadows from the leaves and stuff.
Now you can see the, the glowing from the lights in her eyes. Skin, also light under her skin. Very cool tech. So yeah, I'm gonna stop it here, and um, pretty cool demo to show uh, ray tracing. You can see the leaves moving and the shadow of them uh, on her body. Very cool. I would assume it's moonlight. Can't really see the light source I assume it's a moon but also colors the color from uh, these reflects you see some of it on the wings but yeah really cool demo so if I zoom out I get 22 frames per second so yeah Real-time ray tracing is intense as fuck on your hardware, but I'm perhaps you might get 60 frames per second with a 2080 Ti on this one. But yeah, it's an advanced demo in ray tracing. Beautiful. But yeah, this kind of shows how much power it takes from your hardware. Hardware. So yeah. I'm Balubish and if you like the demo, download it and test it yourself. It's free on NVIDIA. Then you can see if your PC is uh, good enough for ray tracing. Just for the fun of it, let's do um, let's do 1080p. Let's see what the frames are. Before we go, I mean. lot more frames a bit more polished I would say than the shadow of Tomb Raider demo because people complain about that but yeah it kind of pushes down the frame still even though it's a technology from 2011 and shadow of 
Tomb Raider is a brand new game or title not optimized yet so yeah now you can kind of understand how much power it takes from uh, your graphics card to render real-time ray tracing even with new hardware but I'm pretty sure Shadow of the Tomb Raider will run really well on uh, the new cars especially to 2080 Ti a lot more coarse and uh, processing power in general compared to the GTX 1080 not a lot more but I think it's 4 teraflops more um, oh wait oh it's even 5 teraflops I think in CUDA performance and this is CUDA only so and then you have the 110 teraflops um, tensor cores that will help out with this technology as well so when it's fully implemented and um, optimized, I'm pretty sure you can play games like regular and still have real-time ray tracing, which is phenomenal. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Kind of give you guys a perspective on how ray tracing is going to be in gaming. Peace out.